Hi, it's time for another math easy solution here to discuss uh, just a quick, quick tutorial on basically Excel data bars in cells. And I'll show you what I mean. It's pretty useful uh, graphical display uh, trick you could use in Microsoft Excel. Basically, if you have, um, yeah, I'm using Excel 2013. So there should be similar methods for all the other ones. Basically, if you have X, Y, like let's just look at this table right here where there's just a random X column random y column now this is a calculation here x divided by y but let's say we wanted a chart inside these cells to basically quickly see visually how these numbers relate to each other so that's easy you could just highlight whatever number you want right click go to quick analysis and just click the data bars so as you can see here it just gives a quick relation between these uh, these two so 0 0.6 is considered a full here 0.33 just a bit above half and if you go to four let's say let's go to four eight that should be another half again you'd have to scroll this down that's that's at 0 0.5 so basically 0 0.5 would be this close to 0 0.6 0 0.6 is the highest one and also if you want to make it easier you could just do this and go to uh, insert table and learn more about tables in my earlier video i'll just change the format here to this thing over over here and center everything okay so this looks good here so with this I could just go seven eight as you can see now that's the highest it automatically changes it's all relative to the highest one you can go a hundred or ten out of five this will always be a hundred so basically this is really really small compared to two because now that's the highest ratio in this one here I'll just fix this to be a bit just make a just make a hundred like a hundred percent the highest or one out of one the highest so there you can you go 99 a hundred as you can see that's the highest one there and everything changes point two is the smallest so you go one over a hundred and quickly you could see visually how each of these numbers do and as you can see this could be applied to a lot of stuff that you're doing if you're dealing with big data you don't want to read each number you could just visually see exactly which one's the highest which one's the lowest and the average etc basically as you can see the average around this one should be around over slightly like this for my uh, drawing this uh, mouse over here and that is around 0.3 ish. So as you can see, a quick way to visually see the average, visually see the minimum, maximum, etc. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully you'll learn from this video. As again, once again, you just highlight wherever and just click quick analysis. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, you can download this exact uh, Excel sheet in the, in the link below. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.